You know what I mean, right? <laughs> the, the things and whatnot. Helen Yee here at Extreme Couture. Always great to be reunited by the one and only, the people's champ and the international treasure, Mr. Sean Strickland. Now, first off, I know you what said- What happened to your finger? You smacking the smell? What'd you do? Uh, do you really want to know? You want to know. What did you do? Hold on. It's kind of hot. I, I got to take this off. No, so you did tell me that you would only talk to me if I covered up from chest to toe, and I did. Listen, we've all seen your Twitter. We all see what you run around in. You're in a gym with like over testosterone men. Helen comes walking here with some fucking shorts, dude. Like, I mean, like this, this kid's going on. There's that kid's class, you guys. This ain't the Hooters. <laughs> so I'm happy. I'm happy that the message received, you know, no one's gonna spite the smell for, you know, it's gonna be good, dude. Everything's good, guys. Well, um, I broke my finger swimming. How do you break a it's water. Was <laughs> there? It's water. True, true story. It hurt really bad. So I was in competition, and I touched the wall like this. I took half a stroke, and my finger went that way. Did you win, or did you? Were you a little bitch about it? I won, and I got a best time. But then um, it hurt really bad. Let's go. That's that man. Sh but hey, Jesus loves me, guys. Thank you, Checo. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you have any advice on how to recover faster, though? You know, I've lived my life one way. Don't be a You know, it's like the worst thing about the PI is it made all of us a bunch of fucking Everybody goes to the PI nowadays, guys, and they just like, they go there and they get therapy and they live there. Like whatever happened the day when men used to be fucking men, you break something, you just sack the fuck up. Look at you, you sacked up. Yeah. I mean, but it so hurts though. It's hard to train. I can't do pull up. You have ovaries, so you're allowed to be a little weak. I'm curious though, how are you? Because I, I saw your posts on uh, Instagram. Are you okay? Oh, you guys, I'm always good. I'm always good. You I'm sure? Like, there are days, there are days, and like, I don't even know what's happening, but like a week will go by, and I'm like, I'm chomping the bit. You know, I'm like not even listening to my girlfriend as she talks to me. I go a little fucking insane. And then something will happen where I'll snap out of it and I'll see clarity, and I'm like, oh man. That was a rough week. I'm happy I didn't murder anybody. We, we made it through, guys. Yay. <laughs> Yay for me. You guys are safe for now. But I, then I trained. Life is good. Life, it's all good. I got to try to murder my friends. And life's good. Okay, good. Because I missed you. I mean, it's been a long time, and it made me sad. We haven't spoken in a bit. A lot of fans are like, oh, we miss you and Deshaun. And then, and then I thought to myself, is it the chicken feet gift? I know you like sharks. <laughs> what the heck am I looking at? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. You know, I would like to say this is the most Chinese thing I've ever eaten, but that would be a lie. <laughs> try, try it. I don't know if I want to, man. All right, all right, let me get this. You told me you have a foot fetish. I don't know if I can know. No, I don't have a foot fetish. I mean, have I sucked on a few toes here and there? Yeah, but I mean, it's more of just like, why not try some shit? It's not something I want to do. I mean, you ever had your toes sucked on? No comment. Is snow ever sucked on your toes? Try the chicken feet. That's a smoke. You're talking about foot fetish. I bet toes smoke is all up on these little Chinese toes. I bet Smo eats her toes like I'm going to eat this chicken feet. Oh my God, there's fucking bones in it. How do you eat it? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I've ate a lot. Of, I've ate a lot of gross things, a lot of gross things, and this is going on top. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. You win. Help. Was it the fact that I told you my dad you know, ate dog? I know all the all-you-can-eat buffets here. Okay, well, I'm just happy you're not eating dogs. <laughs> my dad did. Is you it because I'm Chinese? You know it is. I mean, you are Chinese. You are part of the enemy. You are. <laughs> but no, I guess it is like. The media, not, not you guys, not you guys, but the media is cancer. Everything like, everything I am, everything we are, they hate. Everything I say, traditional values, you know, keeping, keeping the government out of your home, everything I say, they fucking hate. 
So when I do media, there's articles about Sean's this, Sean's a bigot. I mean, look at Helen. She's a Chinese And me and her are best friends. She might even be I'm just so sick of all these of all these that try to muffle me. That say, I can't say that, I can't say this. Like, fuck them. They just want these little cookie cutter, little fucking spandex wearing lady boys in the UFC. And I'm just not that way, guys. I'm not that way. You did tell me on Instagram you want to challenge me in swimming, and you said you'd beat me. No, I'd fuck you up, for sure. I mean, you're a woman, dude. How about I give you a head start? Five seconds. I'll race you whenever you want. Whenever you want. I'll fucking school you. I, I know what's on the line. Yeah, you're fucking racing a fucking man this time. You're so used to these little women racing that could probably can't even swim. Thank God there's no sharks in the water. When are we racing? I'm down. When do you guys want? When do you guys want to see me, clown? When are you? <laughs> when are you ready to lose? Fuck, I don't. Sign me up. Let's go. Whenever you want. Sign the dotted line. It's a date. Let's go. Not that kind of date. I also got you a little gift. All right, let's. I got you. Do you okay? Oh my God! Listen. <laughs> How do I get to the meat and potatoes of work harder? My name's not Izzy. I'm not LeBron. I'm not off anybody in the Chinese government trying to get that money. I'm a I'm a poor white trash man. All right, hell, I don't need to learn this. You're my you're my you're my Jackie Chan. You you're you're my in the Chinese money. How do I get the money? Read. Well, you got a you got a sticky note. We're going here. What is what is this all about? Is this, I don't think this is meant to be here. Affirmative name. Moods and tastes. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, this is this is good shit, you guys. I mean, you know, fuck. But I have to ask you, too, and the fans were wondering, a huge fight will be here. UFC 300 headlining. Your friend, now friend, Alex Pereira, he's fighting Jamal Hill. Who do you think wins that? Ooh. I'm going to no comment on that one, guys. Why? Well, because, you know, Jamal. He, he's cool. He's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy, you know? Yeah. I just started getting a lot of black friends now, you know? I didn't used to not, I, I used to not have a lot of black friends. And now, and now, they're, now I'm being welcomed as one of them, Deshaun. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that one go, guys. We'll find out. We'll see how it goes. Like Chris Curtis? Hey, he's stepping First up. Of all, don't put Chris Curtis and Jamal here in the same category. What do you mean? Chris Curtis ain't black. <laughs> what that is man, he? That man plays video games, watches anime. Like, calm down. There ain't nothing. There ain't no brother in that man. Calm down. Do you watch it with him? Hey, Kurt. <laughs> hey, he Kurt, has a question. Kurt, you playing any good video games lately? I like the video games. I'm still black. You watching anime lately? <laughs> All right, just checking. I'm saying, guys, I'm probably more black than Kurt. Anyways. And lastly, I know you told the schmo you really want that rematch against Trika Suplicy. So when that rematch does happen, how do you see the rematch playing out this summer? Man, yeah. man, man. I, I talk better when I'm, when I'm holding things, you know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just fun with y'all. I just good, covered Helen, up today. I know it's you. really this made this interview way less enjoyable. <laughs> but, uh, it's your fault. So, anyways, guys, I won that fight. Dana said I won that fight. Rogan said I won that fight. That fight happened. Titty Izzy got knocked the fuck out by by uh, Alex. They gave him a rematch. Get that rematch. We won it. The UFC fans won it. Drykus wants it. Drykus doesn't want to win a belt like that. Him, he wants the rematch. Make that shit happen, as of always, to the fucking death. My man, let's go. I mean, my, 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 my woman, sorry guys. The Schmo's woman. <laughs> yeah, the Schmo's woman, so she says. <laughs> so he says. And for the fans who love you and can't wait to see more of you and truly care about you, I hope you know you are beloved no. all around the world. You guys, you guys, the fans, I love you guys, you know. I think me and my fans, I have like a weird connection with my fans. You know, like I could weird. I don't know, man. Like it's not a thing. Maybe it is. I don't know. But it's like I've shared a lot of shit with you guys. A lot of intimate, personal details, you know? And in return, you guys have like I've had guys come up to me and tell me like things they've never told anybody. So I feel like oddly connected to you fucking guys. And I gotta say, I'm rich. 
I don't have to fight. You know, it's kind of weird to say. You have a Tesla now? I got a fucking Tesla. I'm gonna, well, start, I'm gonna start fucking dudes, you know? I mean, but anyways, guys, I will continue to fight. I will continue to fight for you guys. We're gonna fight Dracus one day. We're gonna run it back for you guys. We've seen her do pull-ups. <laughs> I'm just, just fucking.